Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Stir Fry. Today, we're going to show you a product that Smooth On calls Urophil 11. It is a uh, synthetic fiber filler, actually, cut into really teeny weeny, eensy tiny pieces to where it almost feels like cotton chopped up. All right? It makes kind of like a pretty snow if you let it fall. Okay, so anyway, what I'm going to show you is that this stuff can be used not only with plastic, but also rubber. Some of you may recall a previous stir fry where I demonstrated that good old fashioned Mold Star 16, the fastest rubber almost on the planet, can be used to brushable. So we're going to use it again because eh, we can, and I happen to have some. So what we'll do first is I'll start off with the plastic. Okay? Remember the old saying? You always do your adding in the B side. And I happen to remember that this is the B component. Here's the powder. Again. Okay. So we'll dump some of this in there. Yeah, about that much. Stir it in. See that it works? Turns it into a paste. If I want, I can stir in some more. Turn it into something even more of a paste. Can you see that okay? Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, so now we got slime. Ooh. All right, this is called task four. There's nothing really significant about my choice of task four other than I had some and I thought I would just use it. So that is all. But it is your basic casting plastic. Nothing particularly special. A little bit better than your average smooth cast, but that's about it. So, boom. Dumping in the other side, preferably hitting the cup. Okay. So there you go. So I have taken your basic pourable plastic and I've turned it into something goopy and brushable. Okay? Uh, and I've done it with a relatively inexpensive filler. Now, for those of you who have used Cabasil in similar products, you know how that stuff just kind of gets in the air and next thing you know, you're just not feeling so good if you're not wearing the proper breathing apparatus and so on and so forth. Well, this is much better for you. That was an appropriate alarm, don't you think? So, brush, a little board. Right. Well, looky there. So just like we talked about before with like surface coats and the like, this has the property of making the material thixotropic. There's that big word. Okay, this is a little thicker than it ought to be for a vertical surface, but I do believe I am getting across Mr. Point. Okay, so if you did that, you could almost turn this stuff into a really fast laminating resin. You could throw some fiberglass in this and it would totally work. Did you see that? And it doesn't even look all that chunky. See? Might be one right there. Angle it a little bit. Like so? Um, eh, like that? The little light's just... Is it just bad light? Okay, well, I'll just hold it here, and you guys can pretend like you can see what I'm doing. How's that? Okay. All right, so there you go. That's how that works in a plastic. So again, you see how it turns your basic pourable plastic stuff into something you can brush. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we'll dispose of Mr. Brush and we'll move on to the other goop. Okay, same basic drill, only this time it's a rubber. So, fresh cup. I don't remember which is A or B. But if it's a silicone, it only sort of matters a little bit. I'll tell you put it in the B because I feel like I need to be consistent. But I don't think it matters quite as much with silicone as it does with plastic. So, there's that. There's the little foo-foo dust. 
Mr. and Mr. Fufu. Say, Dan. <laughs> it's kind of floating around me there. Okay, so this time, because the fluid itself was a little thicker to start with, we were pretty, pretty much just working with mud here. It's kind of cool. All right. So that's what it looks like. Can you see? All right, cool. Now, got some in the way here. Add in the other side. It's the dark side, Luke. It's the dark side. Luke, I am your plumber. Okay, so here you go. Stir it up. Stir, 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 stir. Remember, this is Mold Star 16, 1 6, the ridiculously fast silicone rubber that we use for doing all kinds of crazy stuff around here, particularly for anything that looks, smells, or acts like a demonstration, such as this. What a coinky ding. That, ladies and gentlemen, would be a telephone. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we're going to do with it. And there you go. Okay, so, same deal. Boom. Whoever it is really wants to talk to me. There we go. Ha! Leave me alone! Stop! Don't bother me! Can you not see that I am busy? Okay. So here you go. Look at that. That nice, pourable silicone is now a really nice, brushable silicone. Imagine that! Okay. So anyway, I don't need to let you sit here and watch this paint dry. That'd be kind of silly. Unless you're just that bored. Don't be that bored. Get a life. Go read a book. Do something. But, uh, okay, you're a Phil 11. U R E F I L. There might be two L's. I don't remember. You're a Phil 11. We got it. We got it in big boxes. We got it in little boxes. But we got it. That's all you need, ladies and germs. And oh, by the way, you can use this stuff in urethane rubber also and make things like. Rioflex 30, Vitaflex 30, whatever, again, into something you can brush. So it totally works. Get it? Piece of cake, huh? Piece of cake. Hey, keep it simple. We'll blow stuff up so you don't have to. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.